We've got uh, uh, a video that I'm ready to, to show you guys to walk you through a lot of the preparations that we've put in place. Um, as Mike's already described, after Orion's uh, on-orbit operations, spacecraft will splash down in the Pacific about 600 miles southwest of San Diego, and our EFT-1 recovery team will be on station ready to go to work. Uh, the Ground Systems Development and Operations Program here at Kennedy Space Center is partnered with Lockheed Martin, the Department of Defense, the U.S. Navy, uh, to perform several underway recovery tests. Um, these tests were essential to establish and practice the techniques that we'll use to, re to recover Orion, the parachutes, and the forward bay cover from, uh, from the water. So prior to leaving Naval Base San Diego, the recovery team, along with the Naval Base supporting organizations, We'll load the recovery hardware onto the U.S. Navy's amphibious ship, the USS Anchorage. Uh, once all of our preparations are complete, the recovery team will embark aboard the Anchorage and head out to the planned EFT-1 landing area. And you'll see a lot of that footage here. Uh, in the days leading up to the EFT-1 launch, uh, the team will be preparing the recovery hardware, launching weather balloons from the deck of the ship, monitoring sea conditions and providing this data back to the mission team um, as we characterize the conditions we expect on recovery day. Uh, once Orion is successfully launched, the team will uh, perform final preps and launch two Navy helicopters that will capture imagery of Orion's descent and splashdown. In addition, those helicopters will guide the recovery forces uh, to the Orion uh, and to the other hardware. We'll use uh, rigid hull inflatable boats to secure that hardware with floats until we can recover it. Once Orion splashes down, the crew module uprighting system will get us into this configuration uh, that you're seeing now. If there were any issues, we have uh, an alternate manual uprighting operation that would use inflation bags, as shown in the footage you see here from the neutral uh, buoyancy lab in Houston. Once the mission team has powered down the spacecraft and handover for mission ops to recovery ops has uh, occurred, uh, we'll send in the U.S. Navy divers and Zodiac boats, and they'll check for any hazards. They'll attach a sea anchor to the crew module and a load distributing horse collar and tending lines to allow us to bring the crew module into the ship's well deck. Uh, the ship will be set down on rubber supports in the well deck and will be secured in place and finally transferred and secured into the transportation cradle as we bring, uh, bring it back uh, to Naval Base San Diego. In addition, we've got an alternate method for recovery if, in case there's a reason why we can't uh, use the Anchorage well deck. Uh, at sea, we'll uh, install a sling around Orion and the stationary crane on the USNS Salvor will be used to lift the spacecraft, on, spacecraft onto the deck and will be secured into the recovery cradle and will remain there for its trip back to Naval Base San Diego. We also have the op option to uh, tow the Orion spacecraft uh, if there are reasons why we can't recover it onto the well deck or to the deck of the Salvor. And uh, our team is going to be ready. Uh, once we splash down out in the Pacific Ocean, our team will be ready. One of the things I want to expand a little bit on is um, we're going to be very deliberate about our recovery operations. A um, uh, very good thing about Orion is that it will float. So uh, with this being a, a, a test mission, we want to make sure that all of our recovery forces are safe and that we take our time and we're patient about our recovery operations. Um, there are hazards that will remain on the, on the vehicle, and uh, Mike Serafin uh, uh, elaborated on the fact that he will be in communication uh, with me on the ship. Any hazards that the flight team uh, understands and can communicate to us will pass on to the Navy divers who are going to be working the close proximity operations. We want to make sure that they're safe. Uh, if we have situations where we need to keep them away, we'll do that. The spacecraft will float. We'll, we'll find the right time to go uh, execute our uh, recovery operations and um, safely bring uh, the Orion spacecraft either onto the Anchorage well deck or onto the South Wars uh, um, aft deck. And uh, our team has practiced these capabilities, and, and we're very confident um, that we're we're in the best position we possibly can be to recover Orion successfully and safely.